Hello everyone, welcome to an, a special kind of analysis, I guess. This was a, requ a request by Brick Tech with Nate. <laughs> Another uh, video with his, uh, his input. Um, he wanted me to uh, cover this set. The Technic McLaren Senna GTR sports car. Now, I don't cover Lego Technic really at all. Because, uh, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of it. Like, I think they're cool models, but, um, it's just not my thing, I guess. Uh, of course, I prefer Lego Star Wars. <clears throat> anyway, uh, but this is pretty great. I actually love this, uh, this set. It looks pretty cool. Uh, very nice. I believe this is a 2021 set? Um, I'm trying to look here. It doesn't say. That's not helpful. Um, okay then. Yeah. This is a newer model, I'm pretty sure, and it's 50 bucks. Let me see how much peony pieces. Oh, 830. Oh, wow. That's a really good deal then. Um, yeah, that's, this is the set. There's no minifigures because it's like a Technic set. So normally those don't include minifigs. I'm pretty sure it would be nice if we could get at least one but yeah here's the box which looks really good really like that looks pretty good um yeah not much to say about the box i believe that it is actually um authorized by mclaren so it's actually you know branded as the car by the company as well uh, let's see the back of the box. Oh, sorry. See the back of the box there. Let's see. Uh, it's got twin turbo V8 engine. Uh, has a top speed of 220 miles per hour. That's pretty cool. Obviously, this can't actually drive unless you put, like, the power functions into it. Which, if you did that, it'd basically be like an RC car at that point. Um, the doors can open. That's nice. Uh... I don't think there's any other features. I think it's really just the car. And that's it. Which is fine. Here's a profile of it. Very sleek. I feel like the button on the top does not look very good. But like, that's actually... Oh, that's another feature. That's the um, the turning mechanism of the wheels. So if you, if you turn that little knob here at the top, it'll um, turn the wheels. Which is really cool. But I feel like it could have been on the back and not really on the front top but eh, whatever it looks pretty good usually i feel like technic sets um they kind of look a little bit empty like because they're like open space kind of parts like normally so like if you see the windshield it's literally just like open air inside there which is fine i mean i don't see them making a new windshield piece and they have these, like, bendy pieces, like rubber parts, which is cool. I love how the doors can open. That's pretty sweet. Uh, looks nice. I think there's a few bit too many stickers, though. Uh, there's a lot of stickers. Wow. Uh, Technic sets are notorious for sticker overuse of stickers, which I don't mind. But, like, it would be a little bit annoying putting all these stickers on, you know? Um, it looks really good. Um, I'm not too familiar with the actual car, but I, maybe I should be. Um, I can see a UK logo here, pretty sure. So that's interesting. Um, maybe you could put a minifig in here, I doubt it, but you could try. Uh, yeah. There's the doors opening, which is pretty cool. I like that. There's the back, which we saw on the back of the box. There's the front. This looks pretty good. I think the shaping is, is as good as they could get um, without, you know, making it look blocky, which, of course, Lego, normal Lego parts are blocky, but the Technic ones are a lot more curved and shapely. They're very sharp, a lot of the parts. I don't know what this means. I don't know what these arrows mean. Maybe, like, that moves or something? I don't know. 
I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, there's it being built by a kid there. And there is it in real life. It's pretty big. It's pretty comparable to, like, the the expert cars that they've done. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. There's the... Ooh, that's the inside. That's the... That's a steering column. That's cool. Well, the seats are actually pieces. Oh! Those parts were in the speeder bike. The... The seats. Those seat parts are basically, like, the back flaps of the bike. Which, that's cool. I like that. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty decently sized. It's not huge, obviously, because then it would be like $500. But it's pretty good size. It's like an RC car kind of kind of size, if you know what that looks like. But let me... Oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that was, that was dumb, the glitch. Okay, there we go. Uh, 42123, that's the number of this. I'm not going to get this, but I know Nate really wants it, like it's on his must-have list, which is cool. I prefer many-figure scale cars, but this is pretty nice. Um, I know they have Speed Champions McLarens, which I want to get at least one of those, because I want to get into Speed Champions collecting, because I love cars. I love cars and vehicles and stuff, so that'd be kind of cool to get, like, a little collection of, like, Lego models of, like, different cars, you know? That'd be pretty cool. Um, wow, this is five stars. Wow, that's really, that's like perfectly scored. <laughs> that's cool. I really like this thing. I don't have any problems with it. Um, I mean, other than the stickers, which there's a lot of them. But I feel like those add detail. So I don't have any problems with this. The price is awesome. It's only 50 bucks, so, you know, compared to most Technic sets, which are... You know, in the hundred dollar range, you know, seventy to a hundred, hundred plus. So, you know, most Technic sets are a little expensive, but I mean, you guess you're getting what you pay for with most of them. Um, but I feel like the the Lego Creator Expert cars. I feel like those are a little bit of a better value because they actually look a little more like the the source material. Like they actually look more like the car. And they're actually built from standard Lego parts. Um, but I like Technic. I think it's a cool theme. Um, the closest thing I have to a Technic set is the speeder bike. And it doesn't really count. I mean, I guess it does. Because it's a Technic build. Um, it's huge. Uh, it's definitely longer than this. But that's because it's a speeder. Yeah, will I ever get a Technic set? Who knows? Uh, maybe later down the line, but like for now, I'm not. I'm just not really that interested in the Technic line. But I think there's some really good models, you know, old and new, that have been released so far. I'd, I would just probably get the Speed Champion sets, to be honest, instead. Just because they're scaled better to figures and they look a little nicer. But that's just me. Um, I really like this. I think it's a nice looking build and for 50 bucks i think you you get more than enough pieces for your money i mean you get like almost 900 parts for 50 bucks like what like that's crazy that's crazy have you never heard of that that's like n not even a thing now so that's cool um yeah i don't have any problems with this i'd give this probably a 10 out of 10 i mean it's pretty perfect i think Good for any McLaren fan. I know Lego has made a few McLarens since the Speed Champions line. Which I want to get at least one of. At least one of them. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, Break Tech with Nate. If you want any more analysis on Technic sets or anything, let me know. Um, if you want me to do analysis on those three sets that you're going to be getting, I can do that as well. And uh, I can just do analysis on pretty much anything that you guys want. Because I love covering pretty much anything Lego. So, yeah. Let me know guys, what you guys think of this set. Will you be buying it? Are you not a Technic fan? Do you like the McLaren? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is a good deal? I think so. And I'm not going to be buying it. But I think it's great. And uh, pretty sweet looking, I, I must say. But yeah, I'm a big fan of this set. What do you know? What, uh, what do you think? 
and uh, more analysis coming. You know, if you give me a, a suggestion, then it'll get uh, pushed to the schedule, and uh, you know, it's I'll actually film it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. More analysis coming. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully will be soon. And everyone have a, take care of a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Have a great one. Take care.